Howdy folks, it's been a while since I did a cheeky little simple unboxing. I actually got these a little while ago. Shout out and thank you to Rode for sending these out for me to show you guys. I first saw them at the Build Expo in New York when I was there with Steph. Um, it really impressed me for you're getting so much extra stuff in this kit compared to what it's replacing for such a modest increase in price. I think these must be the best wireless mic sets that Rode have produced and Rode are the best that I have used. So hopefully this means that this is going to level up everything. Now this is a dual channel set, as you can see from the picture. But as I realized going through this, it's actually kind of a triple channel setup because it has a TRS input on the receiver where your cameraman or whoever could also be giving notes straight into it and then it's recorded as triple channel. So it's actually triple channel, but it's got dual senders. Now, I have to say, well, first of all, this is not paid, not sponsored, not anything like that. Um, and it's an unboxing, not really a review anyway, but I will declare a, declare a small bias. I am actually really oddly proud and patriotic about Rode, which surprises me because I don't consider myself as a patriotic person. But reading on the back in 2024, in this era of everything being outsourced, that this is not only designed, but also made in Australia, it actually makes me kind of proud to see that they're making a world-class product at a really competitive price still in Australia. That's pretty cool. Now, <laughs> small box, tiny knife. Um, if you've been watching a while, you'd know where I got this guy. I got this during a, an ice festival in, well, I've just cut the box, in um, Mongolia when we were visiting there. And this is a reindeer horn. Fortunately, each year the reindeers shed their horns, so no Santa's helpers were murdered to make this souvenir. Not really a souvenir guy, but I reckon that's pretty great. And who doesn't love an epically huge and ridiculous ceremonial unboxing knife? Let's open this up. Now, as I said, what you're getting in this kit compared to the mics that it's replacing is pretty great. Um, in the past, I have tried dual channel mics from other brands that were sent out to me, and they were all trash, to be honest. There was like this swoosh, like a swishing sound in the background as it was trying to mix the channels, I don't know. Uh, and just at the end of the day, the dual channel part is difficult enough, but then if your levels are off, so I'm interviewing someone and I'm way too loud, they still get mixed and put into the camera as one, then it's really difficult to separate that out. Having what this guy has, which is the onboard 32-bit float, you can one, never peak because you have that extra bandwidth. It's like being able to record raw for, uh, instead of for your stills, for your audio. Um, but you also can have it recorded internally and then access each of the files separately, which is really great. Of course, being the era that we live in, all of the, a lot of the cool things that are built into these guys have already been copied by other manufacturers on the market, but still, I'm really looking forward to working with these ones because the Rode system just works great. They've never been paid by them, never been sponsored by them, just my honest feedback. Um, Comparing it to the previous gen, essentially you're getting much, much better battery life. The 32-bit float built in, you're getting improvements on basically all the things that were negatives, like having proper screw downs for the labs, plus, I think I said already, better battery life, but then the wireless charging box, which then gives you, you know, uh, I think an extra two charges on everything. And it, you get, wireless labs included, a pair of them, uh, which I think by themselves are this much each. So you're getting all of that, including the two labs, is a hundred bucks more. So it's hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of extra value. Now, I'm not telling you this to try and sell it to you. I'm telling it to you because as I was hearing about these at the Build Expo, watching the presentation from the guy who was just talking to other customers about what you get and how it compares, I was doing the maths in my head thinking that it was a really great deal. Um, now, another couple of things that I really like about this system, the 
magnetized setup that you can use to, you know, just have a magnet clipped to your shirt rather than anything else is really subtle. It does have an indentation, like a, a depress kind of of the Rode logo, but it's not something big and bright and white or anything. So you can wear it in a really low key way without having their logo showing. That said, if you're using the actual unit being clipped to you, then yes, you have their big logo there. But again, at least it's not in bright white or something. It's um, kind of a more muted gray color. So taking a look, we have, let's get all these little things off. And as soon as you unplug them, they're already on and ready to go. You've got your two uh, transmitters and your one receiver, and it's already kind of hooked up and working. One thing I'll say is I don't personally like the design of the new labs. Um, this is one of the new ones. The capsule is fantastic quality. The cable itself is really nice quality. I just personally actively dislike the shape of the head and the way the connectors attach. Now I'm sure for some people I'm, uh, there may be a benefit to this, but I find that this uh, soft cover is really easy to fall off and more so that the clip that connects to the actual capsule is extremely easy to fall off. I'm actually using the previous generation here, which is the more traditional style, and I would much rather this. Uh, even if you, we could have some variation of this style of clip, are you still able to hear me? Even if we could have some variation of this style of clip on this newer mic, that would be the ideal situation. So as well as the 32-bit float, this guy has the time code built in so you can, again, record it internally and can go to the camera. The locking 3.5 lav ports, so then you don't have them accidentally pulling out, although I have to say it rarely happens. On your receiver, you do have a headphone out so you can monitor directly from that because, of course, you can record straight into these without actually needing to have it even connected to a camera. As I said, it's got the TRRS input, so then you're able to have a third channel recorded. Also, something pretty cool, they will detect if the uh, headphone port is powered to save their own battery life. You'd know that sometimes it's powered, sometimes it isn't, so you have those little shotgun mics. Do we have that little shotgun mic here? Thank you. Here we are. So you've got this kind of big mic, which is a shotgun that has a battery built in, but then they also make these little guys that have no power. So for this, the camera has to be supplying some power for it to even operate. If you're trying to connect it to something that's unpowered, you can't use this kind, but this one will work on everything. So essentially, if you're using your typical mirrorless camera, it does have some power to the mic input, so then you'll be able to actually save your battery life and record for even longer. The accessory kit has your charging cables, the magnetic clip system, uh, lots of charging. So it's got the USB-C to Apple Thunder, whatever they call it, that stupid lightning connection. Uh, USB-C to USB-C. It had another USB-C to USB-C, a more heavy duty one, which I guess you would use to actually charge the box. Two of the muffle covers here for a uh, big windy area, the you know, little, I think they call them dead kittens for the labs, as well as one for going straight onto the pack itself. And then you have two of these smaller restrained kind of style ones for when you're shooting outdoors, but not in a windy area. And a case that carries all of your accessories, which is almost exactly the same size as the unit itself. So all sorts of goodies um, and a little color code if you want to, so that you know that you're yellow and someone else is green when it comes time to throw your mics on. If your levels are adjusted differently, you can mark these guys so you know which is which. Um, again, I don't really love the way that those clip down. But if you're looking for a kit that gives you that dual channel system and the 32-bit float and the charging case, there are some other options on the market now, but I'm really glad that I'm going to be using this particular one. Um, they also have an adapter so that you can then like put your mic on a, a handle. I'm going to CP Plus in 
Tokyo, sorry, in Yokohama in about a month's time. And I think that would be really handy to be able to talk to people on the booth and actually hand the mic back and forward. I had been thinking of that, but seeing this has the dual channels, I'll probably just throw one clip onto them and ask them if I can do an interview that way. That's a little bit less old fashioned having that little handle there, but still nice that there's a little ecosystem of accessories out there for it. If you're considering one of these dual channel systems for yourself, then let me know what you would like to see tested or if there's anything you'd like to see it tested against. As I said, I know there's different options on the market. Um, and again, thanks to Rode for sending this out for me to check out. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you guys soon.